What's happening guys? We have a massive collection of motorcycles here. These are restorable uh, barn finds and I'm gonna go through you through here and show you what we got. We got a Honda XL75. We got a Honda CR80, uh, a Honda Dream, um, a CB754, a Yamaha AT1, a Honda, what is that? CM400 or something. I've got at least 10 750 Honda 4s, at least 10 Yamaha XS650s. I've got a Seika 550. I've got a Yamaha 650, uh, a Honda CB754, another 754. I've got two Yamaha GT80s, uh, an XR80. Behind us, we've got um, a Suzuki uh, RT, R RTV, I think it is. RV. RV, big wheel. We got a, what is this one, Billy? BSA. BSA. V25. V25. I've got a, a bunch of Harley Davidson uh, motorcycles, Aramaki's, AMF, uh, MX250s, SXs, an RM80. Um, I've got a nice Honda Dream here. Uh, it's got a new seat cover that's got to be installed. Uh, rolling down the row here, we've got another Harley Davidson Aramaki 250. Like I said, there's going to be over 100 bikes here at this auction. They're all going to be sold as is. Uh, some of them complete, some of them incomplete. We've got a Yamaha 360. Uh, Benelli, a uh, little Yamaha. This is Kenny was riding this around yesterday. Uh, a little hey, custom trike, a Honda. What is that? A CT70, a CB900, an EX500. That's a runner. This thing really caught my eye, man. I, I don't know why. Just the, the body style. Of this one right here, this Honda 300. It's got um, it's got uh, a rack on the back, dual exhaust. Just the color combo on it just blew me away. And um, the, the exhaust system, I think, is what really caught my eye. Uh, this, uh, I, like I said, I got at least 10, Yamaha, 10 or 11 Yamaha XS60s. This one was a cafe racer. Um, a CB500, 4, a CB350, a 450 double overhead cam, uh, another Honda Dream, XS650, 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 XS650 Club of Australia. Guys, you need parts bikes or complete bikes here you go here's a 71 754 a 350 a jr50 suzuki um got some late model later model 90s and 80s motocross bikes a complete honda cr250 with motor um this is a cool piece right here ajs when's the last time you seen an ajs a uh, tomos moped um a velo solex uh front wheel drive machine um a fantic motors uh a bicycle built for two we got a bunch of bicycles coming out too a pe suzuki a seika 500 a cb 350 a ttr 125 yamaha needs a motor uh two twingles these are really rare i got two of these twingles a yamaha xs midnight special wow hey look at the tank on this thing it's like perfect man um another twingle I don't know what this is, a Yamaha R, R5 of some sort. I'm not sure, a little two-stroke. Uh, XL350, um, not sure what that is. And EX250 Cowie, uh, Honda Sabre 750, a KZ550, a Trail 90, one of these Honda little twin stars, Honda Rebel. Uh, Suzuki RM60 or 80, a DT360. And then back over here, 754 Honda, um, another Aramaki. I got a complete motor to go with this. Uh, another Aramaki. The motor's out of the frame, but I, I have a complete motor to go with that one. Love the tank and tin on that one. That's really nice. Uh, CB754, an RM125, an antique. Uh, looks like something from the 30s. Heavy duty trike. Um, and I've got some bikes. Uh, I got a Can Am uh, with Olins on it. The shocks alone are worth fat stack of cash an rm100 and a cr250 or 125 this is kind of cool it's a brand new um two-stroke bicycle uh and a bicycle built for two and an indian moped pretty cool piece and a whole bunch more uh that are on the first floor i'll go show you those we've got a yamaha mx80 what well, looks like one of the first years of the mx80 uh a xl 1983. We are also going to be auctioning off our GMC 3500, um, one ton, 5.7 liter, 
aluminum rims, brand new Michelins, uh, hand-built flatbed, bodies in absolutely mint shape, not a speck of rust anywhere on this truck. 5.7 liter Vortec, more details to come on this one later. Got the battery charger hooked up to it, the motor's mint on this, it has a brand new, we just put about, well, I think about five grand into it, it's got a brand new transmission, clutch, pressure plate, and throw-out bearing, it's got, uh, I think, 85,000 original miles on it, two-wheel drive, uh, dually, it's got brand new um, mud terrain tires on the back here, Goodyear Wranglers. So this thing does awesome in the snow. The interior is beautiful. Stay tuned on this one. Uh, and then I've got our, our plow trucks going up for auction. It's a GMC Z71 Suburban. Um, absolutely pristine inside and out. This is going up uh, along with the Boss, brand new Boss plow that's attached to it. I paid $5,400 for the plow on that. I got a small fortune tied up in that. So in here are some of the other bikes. Got a, a 76 CR125, a GT80 Yamaha, a, um, what is this? I forget, a Bridgestone, an XL75 with good compression of spark. I believe it actually runs. Um, a GS850, a Kawasaki GPZ750, um, a Can Am125, a Yamaha YZ80, an XL185. Another GT80 and a little Yamaha 250. So that's just a little teaser for you. There will be a bunch more bikes added to this. Um, and we've got some real primo stuff. Another 25 bikes that are going to be included in this online auction. So stay tuned, folks. More details. This is just basically a teaser video. Penny didn't even want me to put this up until we had our got our shit together. But I figured better off to let you guys know what's coming. filming while walking again sorry we um got a full staff here today a few extra guys came in um still got a crew working on this trailer we're restoring this 36 footer it's um gonna be something special when it's done here's one of the yamahas going up for auction uh inside the trailer done a ridiculous amount of work in here it's um, pretty almost, the ceilings, walls are completely uh, as good as they're gonna get. And uh, we're just outfitting the inside of it now. Um, there'll be a bed up in the front there with a couple of windows. And we're gonna polish aluminum floors and repaint the E-Track and everything else. That's a whole nother story. Back to the bike auction. Um, got a nice 754 here coming up. So that's what we're up to guys. Uh, if you have any interest in any of the bikes, comment on the video here share the video if you haven't subscribed subscribe um in the link there's a link to our auctions we've got at least 25 restored bikes up for sale and now we're going to put 100 bikes up uh as is that we don't have time to restore we've got about six month backlog so but we'll be more organized and uh, we'll have everything dialed in in a video of each one of these individually coming up so stay tuned thanks for watching god bless america before I sign off, let me show you the bikes inside. Inside, we've got a YZ250, an Armaki 350, another 754. We've got an ATC125 coming up. Um, we've got a CR80, um, an XR650 we're, we're just going through. Um, and a CR250, 96 frame off. I think that's a 93 CR125. What are we doing? An ATC 70. This absolute dime piece. Um, this one's going to be a tough one to let go. That one's going up on auction too. Uh, Triumph 500. A CR 80. And another CR 125. So these are all the parts for our trailer project. We've got a CB 754 motor. A couple bunch of bicycles too, another Canyon Dale bicycle, that's going up. 
What do you think, Kyle? Making progress. A lot of nice bikes coming out. Oh, yeah. You know, if we restore a bike, minimum cost is going to be at least three grand and, and three thousand and up. Uh, five, seven, ten thousand is not uncommon for a restored bike. So here's an opportunity to buy one, dirt cheap, and do it yourself. So, or if you need parts for a bike or a project bike, you're going to want to buy from this batch. It's not very often you see a hundred used bikes come up for sale. One hundred and twenty-five actually uh, is about the number we're looking at. Who knows? Maybe it'd be one hundred and fifty by Friday. Other bikes are coming in, so. Thanks for watching and God bless America.